looking at the apex of the heart. Uh, I'm going to show you this picture here. Uh, we're going to take away the heart muscle and we're just going to see these coronary arteries. And what you're looking at there is the aortic valve. And if you remember from cardiac a and P1, that aortic valve, it, it slammed shut and we had this like water hammer effect. If you remember looking at the arterial line tracing, it was called the dichrotic notch where that aortic valve closed. And then there was this jolt of pressure and it, it increased the flow into those coronary arteries. So now we're looking from the bottom of the heart, looking up towards this aortic valve, we see the differentiation between these different parts. And I like this view because it looks like somebody took them and spun them. And so this is that right coronary artery over here. And if you follow that all around, all the way around to the posterior of the heart, you have this thing called the posterior descending artery. And if we look over here at the left side, this is the left coronary artery. This, that little main area is called the left main. And then that bifurcates into the left anterior descending and then the left circumflex.